This video shows my modifications to the MRB3AM uh, machine. Um, the principal modification is the addition of an assembly containing the infrared sensor here, pointing down at the aperture where the beams are inserted. Um, <clears throat> this enables the process to run automatically without having to press the enter button each time a beam is to be processed. Uh, the other mechanical modification I made was to add um, a half height yellow bush, friction bush, <coughs> just below the gear, which you can see here. Um, I found that otherwise the gear tended to slip down and disengage. Um, and it may have just been a, an oversight in the original build plans because there's an obvious place to place that there. <coughs> the uh, infrared assembly uh, I've documented separately and will be available um, for use. Uh, it uses remaining components from the uh, the box set, so it's perhaps slightly weird the way it's do it's mounted, but it's uh, quite firm and uh, does the job. Uh, it's wired into sensor port number one, and um, the program is modified slightly uh, to accommodate it. So if we run the program by pressing the enter button to start it off, um, as before. And the original, the motor starts running and the first brick is processed by inserting it into the slide here. And it Thank goes you. in, detected. detected. But I also added some sound so that when it's ejected, it actually shows you the process, uh, what's been detected on the screen as before, but actually says the colour and the beam length. And you can verify that it was actually a five beam black that was uh, detected. The machine has stopped and normally you'd press the enter button in the original to start it going. But this time I'm going to insert uh, a white beam. Um, I programmed it to include that. This is actually from the, the old Lego Next 2 set. And uh, if I insert this, it's actually a finger it detects rather than the beam. And you can see the motor starts off and I didn't have to press the enter button. So that is processed as it goes through and uh, comes out again. And on the screen you can see and hear the results. We'll just do one red one to finish with. And uh, that's then my modifications to the model. Much simpler to use than before, and you can see that it works uh, really quite well. Here comes the beam out again, detected, and it's an 11 beam. So there you are, a modification to the uh, B, Mr. Uh, B3AM project, and I hope you like it.